My name is Staff Sergeant Vanessa Ramos. I am an emergency management craftsman at the 628 Civil Engineer Squadron uh, Readiness Emergency Management Flight. Our mission here is to prevent, prepare, respond, and recover from any man-made or natural disasters. All right, so a lot goes into preparedness. So we have a community outreach uh, program um, where we go out to schools, speak with uh, parents and teachers, and overall joint base uh, staff and talk about um, preparedness before a disaster. So having a kit, um, having a plan and a com uh, for your families and a communication plan um, if uh, communications get difficult or if they go down. Um, then we also uh, prepare the base for um, disasters. So we um, manage the emergency management program so we train emergency operations center uh, reps, unit control center reps or, um, with, through training. And then we also um, prepare ourselves as, for, uh, as emergency, man as, ah, emergency responders. Good Lord, we prepare ourselves as uh, emergency responders through training and exercises. So we um, do a lot of, so we prepare ourselves as a flight um, with a lot of in-house training, um, with uh, regular exercises, um, response exercises um, for a chemical, biological, or a radiological response. Um, and then we have a small piece in um, base-wide exercises. So the Emergency Operations Center um, we have to exercise and stay proficient with our duties in there. Our role in response is to uh, detect any harmful uh, agents, um, and provide samples, um, and cordon it off. And then we also have a part in decontaminating um, any uh, person that came into contact with with uh, the harmful substance. So we, we advise um, the incident commander if it's a man-made uh, disaster that we're responding to, um, or, and then we can respond if we have to go in and identify and collect samples for identification on cordon off. Um, as far as responding in the emergency operations center, we sort of manage all the ESFs and we assist the emergency operations center uh, director. Uh, so we, we advise the incident commander and the EOC director um, because we, by providing expertise um, on different topics, um, we write the installation emergency management plan, which is a step-by-step -step checklist um, for any kind of disaster. Um, and it involves all the emergency support functions. So we have a little bit of knowledge on that. So a typical um, response, uh, a man-made response would be a suspicious package delivery. We could respond to that. We could respond to a um, on base or an off base um, airplane crash. Um, we could respond to a meth lab. Um, we're trained to respond to that as well. Um, as far as uh, natural disasters, it could be anything from a snowstorm to a flood to a hurricane. So as far as recovery, um, depending on what kind of recovery um, emergency, what kind of recovery we're running, um, it would be um, 
just to make sure that we stay on track and we follow through and document. A lot of uh, recovery is documentation um, and making sure that we hit uh, each, um, I guess, agenda. agenda. Set. You said, what was that last word you said? Each agenda set. Uh, the most common um, incident here on base uh, is a hurricane. It's a natural disaster, so it seems we have one every year. So um, we prepare um, with community outreach, um, with our emergency management uh, plan, um, and by training and running an exercise every year. Um, we respond um, with our hurricane rideout teams and our recovery teams. Um, the recovery teams have obviously have a big part in recovering the base, so restoring um, regular operations so that all the families can come back, all the students can come back, and we can start putting planes in the air again. So uh, prevention is more about preventing the loss of life and damage, um, and therefore stop, stop stoppage to the mission. So um, that's where prevention goes into. So every time we respond, we have something called a hot wash or lessons learned where we sit down with all agencies involved and we put forth a plan to respond better, improve, train better so that we can recover uh, quickly and uh, prevent further uh, loss of life and mission stoppage. I feel uh, very honored and I feel um, the sense of responsibility to make sure that I do a good job, uh, make sure that I convey the importance of what we do, um, whether you be attending Seaburn class or you're attending Emergency Operations Center class, um, so that we prepare everyone who attends to the best of our ability so that they can do their job, because what we do is uh, very serious. EOC brings together um, every um, office of uh, primary responsibility throughout the base and we respond to whatever disaster um, is occurring by uh, running through our checklist and giving support to whatever response is happening. So we control, in the EOC we control resources, whether that be um, a generator, uh, a response team, um, that's pretty much what we do. Okay, so, um, so it's important that we all get together and congregate. It, does, it could be the emergency operations center where we are all, all, all the responders actually kind of physically go there, or it could be via our uh, virtual operations center but a lot of crosstalk happens. So let's say someone needs six buses, the, someone like at the next table over is ready to help you. Um, well, a lot of the functions tie in together. So it's good that we're in there to help each other, lean, lean on each other um, as a team. Um, Our uh, emergency uh, response uh, trailer, we have uh, quite a bit of equipment on there. So we have anything um, to, we have, ooh, we have detection gear, so chemical um, detection there. We have biological sample um, abilities. We have radiological detection. So we use all this different piece of equipment to um, identify and co collect and cordon off any kind of uh, hazard. So, and we also have, um, we also have uh, PPE on there. So we have uh, three different types of respirators that we could wear. Um, we have um, two different suits.
So the best protection we have is the level A suit. Um, so that suit is fully encapsulating. So you're in this big sort of bubble suit uh, that's airtight and we wear a firehawk mask underneath and a air tank um, strapped onto our back and we use that to respond uh, to any kind of hazard if uh, in particular, if it's an unknown hazard, we know that we're well protected in that suit. We sort of look, look like uh, little astronauts in them. They're funny. <laughs>